Send special thanks to all heads of departments and country heads that came through. Every single day has been very tedious. We walked right through the night into the early hours of the morning, and we want to assure people that this has been one of the very best conclaves. As we speak, we are waiting part two to start. So every single Amazonian who was invited to this conclave will be very clear from the governing council that this is a struggle for all of us, and everybody has a role to play and has a time to play that role. This is the day when all our frontline leaders and our very special guests, people who consider very important in our society, will come and take it from where the administrative processes that have taken the struggle to where we are today have actually deliberated and concluded on very salient things that when our people hear from our resolutions for phase one, they will thank God that indeed this conclave was ordained to take the struggle to the next level. We'd like to interview a few of our leaders who are in the hall just to give us a perspective of what um, they have experienced with phase one, and of course, talk to our people. We want Prof. Nyangwe to greet the people, and what has been your experience with phase one of um, Conclave 4? Uh, good experience, um, calm, determined, purposive, and I think for the past couple of days, we we'll conduct a business, business-like, and we shall continue to conduct that business, business-like, until we come to the end of this conflict. Thank you, Prof. Mangan, the one and only. Um, you've been in this struggle for God knows how many decades. What has been your experience particularly for Conclave 4, and what do you say to your people? Um, I found the Conclave a very productive meeting. It started off a little rough but it quickly settled down once the, the necessary authority